Hello guys and girls, this is Guy with Curly Hair, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about the top 10 most haunted places in the state of South Carolina. For those who are unfamiliar with South Carolina's history, it became a state on March 26, 1776, and also many Irish, Scottish, and French Huguenot immigrants had migrated to the state. Basically, the state is filled to the brim with history. And in this video, I'm going to take you on a journey through the haunted parts of the Palmetto State. And with that out of the way, here we go. Number 10, the Pickens County Museum. Now I know what you're thinking. How in the world could a place like this possibly be haunted? Well, coincidentally, the museum that sits here used to be the old county jail. And a man named Willie Earl haunts part of the museum and says the words, I didn't do it. Back in 1944, he was blamed for killing a taxi driver, but it was actually the cab's passenger who had committed the crime Willie was wrongfully convicted of doing. Then Willie was arrested, but before he was tried for the crime, an angry mob of cab drivers rushed into the building, killed and tortured Willie, and took him out of the jail. Then 31 cab drivers were later on arrested, were tried, then acquitted for the violent actions they committed against Willie. Then he was later on lynched in Greenville, South Carolina. And now to this day, the ghost of Willie Earl still calls from beyond the grave, forever pleading his innocence. Number nine, Crybaby Bridge, Anderson, South Carolina. The next stop on our ghostly tour through South Carolina takes us to Crybaby Bridge on High Shoals Road in Anderson, South Carolina. People have said if you park your car on the bridge at night and turn your car engine off, you can hear the sound of a baby crying and see the ghost of a mother looking for her lost child. When people have attempted to approach this ghost, she miraculously vanishes into thin air. Number 8. Tuberculosis Hospital, Greenville, South Carolina. While nowadays this location is better known as Hurt Clots Park, but back in the 1930s, the structure that's shown in this photo was once a tuberculosis hospital that was utilized until the year 1970 when it closed down due to a lack of patients, and then it was turned into an insane asylum and a prisoner release site before it was burned down in 2002. People who have often visited the park at night have reported seeing orbs, apparitions, and even puddles of rain turning red from the blood from previously deceased tuberculosis victims. Number seven, Oakwood Cemetery, Spartanburg, South Carolina. The Oakwood Cemetery in Spartanburg, at first glance, may not seem like it doesn't deserve to be called a haunted hotspot, but you have been mistaken, my friend. This place has been the site of phones going dead and phones ringing on their own even after being turned off. But during the night, however, people have seen orbs, white shrouding mist and the sounds of children laughing. In the old parts of the cemetery, people have heard the sounds of screams, often feeling ill or an overwhelming sense of dread. This place has also been a victim for a very long time of satanic rituals. Taking place and even one of the culprits stealing the skull from a grave and putting it back in its casket a month later. So in other words, don't go to this cemetery at night under any circumstances unless you want to know why this place is haunted. Number 6. Lydia Mill Ruins, Clinton, South Carolina. This place that was once a cotton mill has been around since the early 1900s, but however in today's world, it now stands in ruins and people have often spotted a female headless woman who may be Lydia herself walking around both inside and outside the mill. Number five, Abbeville County Museum, Abbeville, South Carolina. This place is now a museum, but back in the Civil War era, it was a jail, and the most haunted part of this building, the third floor, where some of the cruelest, most diabolical prisoners were kept. Reports from people who have visited this place include footsteps and the friendly spirit of an African American named Earl who has often been spotted on the upper floor of the building. Number four, Rock Presbyterian Church, Greenwood, South Carolina. Churches are usually known to be holy and welcoming, but the graveyard at the Rock Presbyterian Church in Greenwood 
may be an understatement to those words. The ghostly activity that goes on here include sounds of disembodied singing, white mist, or figures materializing, and blue spots appearing beside the church itself. Number 3. Ghost Creek Road, Lauren, South Carolina. Now this place is unique being it isn't a building, mansion, or even a structure, but instead a road that has an unusual story to tell. The story goes on the night of a couple's wedding, the husband had crashed his car on the bridge and died. If you step out of your car, then turn around in a clockwise motion, your car won't start. Then a ghostly white apparition will appear. Number 2. Inn at Meriden, Union, South Carolina. Built back in 1855, and once being the residence of T.C. and Fanny Duncan, this place now is a hotel and filled with a stunning ten ghosts who will be happy to tickle your nose while you're asleep, sit on you, and even play a nice piano or harpsichord melody when you wake up in the morning. People also say you can smell strong cigar smoke or even rose-scented perfume fill the rooms when their spirits are roaming around the halls. There's also the ghost of Mary Ann Wallace who was the sister of one of the former owners of the inn and even the ghost of a white dog can also be spotted here as well. Number 1. White Wolf Road, Blacksburg, South Carolina. This road located in the small town of Blacksburg in Cherokee County has a pretty tragic story to tell. Two tragedies have taken place in this area. First, a group of people killed a man and his wife. Some people have reported seeing a female apparition of the man's wife in a white dress walking around. Then in the 1960s, a man had been shot near his truck, then his vehicle was torched afterwards. This event is the reason why people often see truck lights while driving down the road, which is most likely the man who died many years ago. Anyways guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like this video and tell me what you think the most haunted places in your state are. I would like to hear some of your guys' opinions on this topic. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. Anyways, this is Guy with Curly Hair, signing off.